If you had to distill down one piece of advice, what would it be? What would it be? One, enjoy every minute of it. Sports, the reason it's popular is because it's unpredictable. And the moment you think you've got a really good team, um, you'll probably have some bad games and it'll kill you. I'm on a, a text chain with a group of my friends from Philly that I grew up with. Yeah. And over the years, I have the luxury of on Sundays having any opinion that I want to have totally. about, who, about what plays are being run, yep. what players should be benched, yeah. who should, what coach should be fired, yeah. what, what's Howie doing, yeah. right? Like, yeah. And it's a release. Absolutely. And it's easy, it's easy for us, right? Because yeah. we, have, we can have very strong opinions, but now I'm on the other end of it where those right. conversations that are having that I'm having those are those are real people they're no longer characters on my television screen it forces you to have to really think through a lot of decisions and think about things not just in the short term what's going to gratify me for the next month of my life what is best for the team over the course of the next 12 months 24 months 5 years um, and what are your values in terms of what, what kind of coach do you want? What kind of um, collaboration do you want? What kind of culture do you want? Mm -hmm. That, to me, is something I never thought about as a fan. Mm -hmm. But then you've got to also then identify where do you think the trajectory is going to go? And that's where the hard decisions are. If you thought you were on an on a upward trajectory um, and you had a down year and you'd say, okay, that was a down year, but we're really on an upward trajectory with that coach and with that coaching staff, then, you know, you continue. If you reach the conclusion that you think you're on a downward trajectory and you needed a fresh leadership, mm -hmm. um, then you got to make a change. And don't be afraid to make a change. At the same time, don't be afraid to keep a great coach. Uh, like I did with Andy over the years, there was a lot of criticism. Why would you keep Andy Reid? We didn't win the Super Bowl that year. Well, mm -hmm. you know, many of the years we were uh, in the NFC Championship game. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, you got to, you kind of got to decipher that, but make your own judgment and don't shy away from really tough decisions. <laughs>